Well, we sold our 450. Sold it at the Ford dealership. And they gave me actually the best price for it. And the reason why we sold it is we're supposed to be picking up our 550 very, very soon. But this thing was like mint condition. And we put a lot of miles on this with our truck camper. Yes, done us, done us right. Never had any problems out of it. The only thing we've ever had to do is maintenance and put new batteries in it. But she did us good. So that's all she wrote on that baby. Literally looking forward to getting our F550 from EOG. I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel and introduce you to our new F550 Super Duty from EOG, which is Elevation Off Grid. We just recently picked it up out of Denver, Colorado. And I want to show you kind of what it is. Down here, you'll see the integrated winch into their custom bumper, the extra Baja lights, turning lights. The big 41 inch tires, Goodyear military tires, liquid spring suspension. They call this the black edition because everything's kind of blacked out, all the chrome. And like I said, EOG 550. We put on a um, CM flatbed with stable camper boxers boxes excuse me uppers and lowers and we had the bed and the boxes by next i don't know if you can tell in here it's, it came out really nice we got a new horse stall mat from tractor supply this also has the what they call the pro power which is an onboard 2k uh, generator we had the torque lift hitch installed for a super truss. These boxes are huge. They hold a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'll try to open one up and show it to you. That's how deep these things are. Can't even touch it. It came out really nice with the line X. The uppers and the lower boxes. They're actually really big. From all the different choices that you have, these are actually the, the, the nicest. You can actually put, we can put our, our, uh, our generator in here and carry it with us. It'll fit right in there. Probably never have to use it. You've got your DEF on this side. That's how big the tires are. Let me get in to show you the inside. Yeah. Oh, let me start it up. So this has the liquid springs. Let me turn this off. So that's what the liquid springs look like. And this will actually raise and lower uh, four inches and I'll try to show you real quick uh, I love the big screen on this thing on the truck pretty much the dash is the same except for the big big screen lots of room in this lots of room so it's just me and Donna and uh, Kiki gets the back seat the dog so the, out, the outfitter switches are the are all three these are your extra lighting in the front air compressor and then this is the under lighting which changes colors you know you can do whatever you want with it uh donna wanted that and uh so let me try to show you how this works so you got three different ride modes you got ride, uh, comfort sport and normal right now i leave it in comfort when you have it loaded you want to put it in normal and if you got lots of hilly roads and stuff like that you can put it in sport and uh, like I said, uh, the height is 
uh, four inches higher or four inches lower from normal. So we're gonna go to all the way down to low and I'll show you the back. So I'm going too quick, you kind of see it lowering down. And then you go to the front. It's really quiet. So that's low, low right there. So that's easier so you can kind of reach the windshield if you got to clean it and work on your car, but you're going to need to get a step ladder. If you get an EOG, you're going to have to get a step ladder. So to put it back in the high, high mode, super easy. Just go one, two, three up to high. Get out and I'll show it to you. It always does the back in first. Oh, I'm sorry. It did the front end first going high. I forgot. So see how high it is now? And then if you look at the back end, you'll see it racing. I haven't figured out our height yet with the truck camper on there because like I said, it just got it. I'm guessing, I'm hoping that it's going to be below 13.6. And normal is putting it basically back on uh, back in the in the middle for normal what else can I show you about this in here if you don't have one of these you're missing out I highly recommend it all right let's back into normal let's turn that off all that's off turn the lights back off kind of get you another look I, I really like the way the the line x came out like if we hit any tree branches or anything it's not going to do anything to that it's not going to pinstripe it at all and i got the idea from the jocelyn journey and i had i did the bottom of ours to kind of match so it would blend into the you know the truck camper boxes and I did this ourselves here. And I did that with Raptor, or Raptor spray from AutoZone. And I think it came out okay. It was like a hundred bucks. Just gotta sand it down pretty good so it'll stick. Um, I'm gonna see how it lasts and I will probably end up Linexing it. I really li like the Linex the whole dang RV to be honest with you. So I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but we sold our F-150, or excuse me, F-450 in February in preparation to get this in March. But everything was behind schedule with Liquid Springs with the earth leveling. Earth leveling is you just basically push a button and it automatically levels where it, at your campsite. And it'll go plus or minus five, four or five inches, kind of guessing. Um, you know, if you're really crooked, it's not gonna level it out. But, you know, moderately, it'll level it out pretty good. Um, we got this in preparation to go to Alaska uh, this coming year. We're going to Quartzsite for the truck rally in February and then uh, mess around in the middle of the country for February, March. I'm sorry. Yeah, February, March, April, and try to hit the border in Canada in May and uh, hang out in Canada probably May, June, and then and then uh, uh, Alaska in August or July and August and um, head back towards the East Coast October-ish uh, so we can be with the family in November for Thanksgiving. Um, really, really like the color choice. This is, they discontinued this color. It's called Sandstone Gray and you will not find that color again. There's only two EOGs made in this color. One's a flat bed like we have, and another one has the full uh, bed, like a regular pickup truck bed. So we're the, we are one of a kind. Um, the winch is super, super nice. Hope we never have to use it, but we got it in there. I think it's 16.5, uh, 16.5 uh, for weight. And uh, that's really about it. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up and show you what we got. Finally got it in. And um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, hit us up. 
And uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, hopefully you'll start seeing some more uh, videos from us since we've finally got our truck back in. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you.